watching Startup Central. I'm Nantara Rai, working from home. We have a very interesting startup lined up for you today on the show. This startup called Pixel is working with ISRO for uh, developing India's first private satellite and will be using and will be used to build a network of Earth imaging satellites. What does all of this mean? And in fact, uh, the co-founders uh, had a meeting with uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi as well. They put it out on Twitter. So we said, let's reach out to the Pixel co-founders and figure out what exactly is uh, going on. We've been joined by co-founders Avais Ahmed as well as uh, Shitish Khandelwal. Thanks, guys, for being a part of Startup Central. Uh, Avais, let me come to you first. Uh, you had a meeting with the Prime Minister. You were, of course, in the news when the tie-up with ISRO, for example, was... Uh, announced. Uh, what was today all about? Uh, you know, we know that the sports space mission, for example, is very close to this, something the government is following very, very closely. But uh, what was it, a regular update? How far are you from all of this anyway? Uh, yeah, thank you for having us, Nandra. Um, but I think the meeting today was uh, an indication of this government's interest in space. Uh, it was all about that they consider this sector as something that has huge potential for growth and something that has not been utilized to its full potential till date. Um, so it was a few select startups that the, the Prime Minister wanted to have an intimate conversation with, and it mainly revolved around um, what uh, the startups uh, or the companies in India are currently doing, what are the different sectors they're taking a look at, but also very importantly on the reforms that were announced a few months uh, back uh, by the finance minister. Um, and it was mainly towards, uh, as you yourself said, we announced that we would be launching with ISRO, we are working with ISRO on a host of other things and how those reforms have uh, led to a changing in the dynamic between the private industry and uh, the public uh, sector here in the country. Um, so the conversation was mainly around how have those reforms been in these past few months? How can those reforms be made better? And he was very vocal in the sense that we don't need to only say positive things about the things that have happened, but he was actively seeking information on the things that were not really that well, things that could be done better, uh, be it in the next few months or be it a few years down the line. Uh, so I think that was a big uh, indication and a big boost for us that this is a sector that's uh, of such importance to the government. And uh, it gives us a lot of heart to say that we're working here and you know there's a lot of potential and opportunity to come. So uh, that was what the, the meeting with the Prime Minister today was all about. And uh, you know we are glad that we had that opportunity. Shiteja, let me come to you now. Of course, uh, the Prime Minister is not just interested in compliments, but wants to know the areas that need to be concerned, where you actually need to see reforms. So uh, let me rephrase and ask you, how far are you from that uh, first uh, private satellite that you are working on with ISRO with? Sure. So, uh, Nantara, in terms of the work that we've been doing uh, over the last one year or so, we've been building our first mission and we have a launch in February of next year. Uh, thanks to ISRO and all the effort that ISRO and InSpace uh, and NSIL have put in over the last one couple, couple months. We've been able to secure this launch. Uh, we've had support for testing. And uh, really in this industry where the capital expenditure is high, you cannot really do much without government supporting you. So we've been overwhelmed by the kind of uh, support that uh, ISRO, NSIL, in space have come up with. And from our side as well, uh, it's been a nervous few months, uh, and it will be a nervous few months till the launch. But um, I think uh, going ahead, uh, the kind of reforms that the government is bringing in, whether it's about the uh, SATCOM policy or about the new remote sensing policy, they're trying to take inputs from the industry. They're trying to take inputs from the private industry and move ahead with the industry. So that's a really positive sign for us as well. You know, if we could, um, if I could also ask you, Avais, this one very question, that India has also taken the leap in uh, making space missions uh, far more affordable than the astronomical figures that we used to see in the West, right? That, that certainly has to be a milestone that we all as Indians must celebrate. It's a rise with India moment, which is our motto on ET now as well. But it is still very expensive. So are you seeing interest from investors? Because they literally have... Uh, whoever they want to chase, whether it's the Elon Musk or the Richard Branson's of this world. 
Yeah, I think the costs, as you said, have definitely come down. And India has been one of those nations where we do things economically, but without compromising on quality. You know, be it the news that our mission to Mars cost less than it took to make the movie The Martian or, you know, other things. Um, that way it has been there, but that gap is shrinking, you know, with the advent of SpaceX and these new startups coming up. They are also being very cost effective because they can recycle their rockets. Uh, so that said, uh, the cost advantage of being based here is something that's an inherent locational advantage, but that's something that we cannot bank on. Uh, we also need to work on cutting edge technology that can uh, compete with uh, uh, the global startups. And in that sense, we have been sort of fundraising for about 18 months now. Firstly, when we just began uh, our journey before we could even go ahead and build a prototype satellite. And the second, uh, you know, quite recently, uh, and, and the difference in how the venture capitalists or the, the funding is coming in has significantly changed, but I would say we're still in the very early stages. When we were talking to investors in January, February of 2019, um, at that point, uh, hardware startups themselves are a risk of it. You add space before the hardware and it becomes uh, another level of risk. And add to that, that was two college students that were doing it. Uh, no one wanted to even you know, take, a, take a small risk there. But that's where um, the BITS alumni, uh, BITS is where we studied. So alumni network came into being and we were able to raise some money and go ahead and build a prototype. But what happened was with the traction that we showed then uh, and the success stories that were coming out from the US and Europe, uh, the ecosystem sort of started waking up. Uh, and even though there are not uh, a lot of uh, VC firms or investors here in the country that would take that bet, uh, there are enough of them uh, that uh, there have been a significant number of startups coming up and funding being announced, be it Pelletric Space that raised 3 million or, uh, you know, Agnikul that raised about 3.5 or even us that announced the uh, funding of $5 million. Uh, the amount of funding that come in has significantly increased. Um, what remains to be seen is whether uh, with the success stories that these startups can come, uh, there are uh, enough investors that can put in, you know, tens of millions of dollars, which is what it will still require for a space company to, you know, uh, be at a level where they can start generating revenue and be self-sustaining. Um, so it's met much better than it was about a year ago, but uh, we're still a long way to go to uh, be at par with other countries in Europe or in uh, North America. And, uh, you know, we're running out of time. So, Shitij, I'll give the final question to you. You know, we've got some idea from Waze now, but forget the funding aspect, but the tech aspect. And like, you know, he was pointing out how startups are entering this space and uh, literally the world is your oyster, right? Uh, where is India in this race? Um, yes, we've had some fantastic missions. We've uh, uh, redefined pricing and costing as well. but. Where are we now with the cutting edge next technology for space missions? Are we lagging behind? Are we right in front? That's a great question, Antara. 48 years ago on this day, uh, the last humans to step on the moon, um, they had the Apollo 17 mission. And uh, since then, uh, progress in space has been more focused towards sustainable development. India has been a big part of this story. And uh, the kind of technology that exists uh, with the Indian ecosystem at this point is right up there with the best. Uh, the only thing that needs to be done is to uh, have more of these uh, research activities happen. Uh, if you look at countries like the US, uh, countries in Europe, uh, there are still technologies that we need to start working on to be a self-sustaining space country, um, a self-sustaining space faring nation. Because uh, when you look at the missions that happen, 90% um, of the uh, work is Indian and you always have to depend on someone outside of the country. So yes, there is progress to be made. Uh, there are uh, areas where the Indian uh, ecosystem is much, much ahead of everyone else. Uh, and then there are areas where we need work to be done. Uh, with the kind of support that is coming through, we expect that more companies will come in that will uh, prove, this, uh, uh, prove this hypothesis that the supply chain in India can be very strong for this industry and uh, it will be built in India for the world basically so that's that's our hope okay guys I'm going to let you go at that uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, live on this edition of the startup central that's pixel for you looking at a February takeoff I got a meeting with the Prime Minister on the future of space missions and the kind of reforms that we need to have with that, we're going to take a short commercial break, uh, but stay tuned. A lot lined up for you on the other side. We'll also get uh, you a startup that is organizing master classes with the best in business. Learn cricket from Suresh Raina and more. That's startup coming up on the other side.